Good morning. Welcome to St. Francis and John Catholic Parish, especially to those visiting, as we celebrate the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. This Mass is offered for Dan Elliott. All readings and music for today's Mass can be found in the bulletin. Please note there will be a second collection for Eastern and Central Europe. Please stand and let us together recite the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Please join us in singing our opening hymn, They'll Know We Are Christians.
We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christian by our love. By our love, yes, they'll know we are Christian by our love. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. And together we spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christian by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christian by our love. We will work with each other, we will work side by side. We will work with each other, we will work side by side. Then will God human dignity and save big one prying, and they'll know we are Christian by our love. You do sing by our love, yes, they'll know. <laughs> We are Christian by our love. All oh, praise to the Father from whom all things come, and all praying to Christ Jesus, his only Son, and all praying to the Spirit who made us one, and they'll know we are Christian by our love. By how love, yes, they'll know we are Christian by our love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Friend, we come together to celebrate the Eucharist. We come to be reminded ourselves who we are, the true spirit of the Christian. It is Christ himself, allow us to be partaker of the wonderful mystery of salvation of the eternal life. So, friend, if we prepare this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the heights, and on earth peace to people of good will. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, God Almighty Father, glory to God in the heights and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right of the Father. Have mercy on us. 
Glory to God in the high heavens, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the heights and on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O God, who showed the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess, all our counted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God. Forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord. Just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. The sea that falls on good ground will Thus have you prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clots, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. The sea that falls on good ground will you have crowned the year with your bounty and your paths overflow with the rich harvest the untilled meadows overflow with it and rejoicing flows the hills 
with flocks and the valleys blanket with grain they shout and sing for joy the scene that falls on good ground will yield a A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed to us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him and he, not, he got into a boat and sat down and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables saying, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on lock, rocky ground when it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose it, it was scourged, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorn grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The disciple approached him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, 
and hear, but do not listen or understand. Isaiah prophecy, prophesy is fulfilled in them which said, you shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. <laughs> Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophet and righteous people long to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear but did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away what was shown in his heart. The seed shown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed shown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the Lord of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. <laughs> but the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yield a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. A very interesting gospel, the addressing of this parable, perhaps too many of us, is very unfamiliar because we have Walmart and we have uh, uh, Home Depot and then uh, Tractor Supply. They provide everything for us. We just go out, pick it up, and go home and plant it, and there it is. We never hear such thing as seed, right? Very interesting. But Jesus in today's gospel pertaining to us the seed that is planted. Good soil, thorn bushes, it bear fruit. But perhaps the question for us to truly want to understand this gospel, we have to hear the first reading from Isaiah. Just from heaven, the rain and snow come down and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful. Give seed to the one who sow and bread to the one who eat. So shall my word that go forth from my mouth, my word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for I, I will which I sent you. Christian, God's word is not your word, it's not my word. God's word. You see, when we use word, we communicate, express, but not God. God's word create, renew, regenerate. If you don't believe me, look at the book of Genesis. Let the heaven and there is heaven. Let us separate between heaven and earth. It separate. And then that word in itself is incarnated. In other words, that would take on the human flesh. He transformed the word that we communicate. The word had been transformed in himself, who is the expression of God, who is created in God, who is the verbalization of God. When Jesus said, be healed, and you heal. When Jesus said, rise, Lazarus, come out, he came out. When Jesus said, take this, all of you, and eat this, this is my body. It is his body, mind, heart, soul, and divinity. Christian, this is a mystery that we come together to celebrate the Eucharist. It is not a piece of bread or a cup of wine. 
in the accident maybe, but in the substance, the true nature of Christ. Why those words is so important, Christian? Because it is the power that Jesus had given to us to transform and renew. Because the Word of God has a significant power to invigorate us, not by excitement, but renew and transform us. It is a God's Word, Christian. We care that name not for the hell being carried as Christian. We are made it for God. We are made it in the transformative of our own baptism. We carry a significant new character, new identity, new transfiguration of who we are. It's not. You know, sometimes it's hard, isn't it? We only reserve those words we use to Christian faith only in church. But I beg the question, Christian, because everything that God created, you, me, the mathematic, the scientific, the beautiful swing of the golf club, the instrumental playing, if not separate from God, Christian, those are the beauty, the essential beautiful that make God glory. You see, those are the fruit that God has embedded in the humago, imago day in you and I. You see, to be a Christian is not just go to church, call it a day, but it's meant to transform us, to renew. You know, I could not help but to hear some great story about the group of Catholic Heart that just came back, Catherine and all of them. They went to Huntingburg, Indiana. And they, I hear some beautiful text that people there were so inspired. They came, they built ramp. They built, help the family with handicap, allow them to have a dignity of a living space that the wheelchair would go able in and out the space to have a true dignity. You see, those are the power that you and I have received in our own baptism, Christian. You see, it's easy to hear the story, but Jesus reminds us himself, it is we has already been touched by God in our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, we can sit and complain as much we want. We can complain about the brokenness world, of the problem with the government, of the madness of the school, the shooting, the gay, the straight, the fur, whatever you call it. But it's all come down to the true dignity, how we allow those words to transform us. St. Francis once said, evangelize the good news. Use word when it's necessary. Because the transformation of that power is already in the dignity of who we are. Those are serious consideration, Christian. You know, in this gospel, I, I hear this, I, I love it because which part of the soil are we? Which part of the soil? Are we want to produce 10, 20? Or we want thorn bush to choke us? It is pertinent to the challenge for you and I. I dare say this. The problem of this world is our fault. Christian, that is. The broken in this world is our fault. Christian, that is. Because we're not allowed the Word of God, allow ourselves to be a conduit of a good news. The mission, the evangelization, the hospitality, the care for the sick, help the poor, bury the dead, is the conforming to the word that Jesus himself is the one that calls you and I to live that witness. Perhaps as we come together this day, we hear this beautiful word that Jesus reminds us. Allow those words to consummate us. And ask ourselves a key question. Are you allow God's word to germinate in you, to invigorate yourself 
to be the conduit, to be a laughter, joy. You know, for me, live a Christian faith is very simple. It's not hard at all, but it's very hard. When the last time you're in a grocery store and look at the person that checked your food out and say hi to that person or smiling at them. You know, I remember driving back from Texas a few weeks ago, stopped by uh, the, uh, the pilot gas station, you know, how busy that place is. And this African lady just stand there, you know, try to check head down. And I look at her name on her, her, her breast right here, uh, and I say, her name is Grace. I say, hi, Grace. Thank you for helping out. Love the name. Very meaningful. And all of a sudden, this face lifts up and a beautiful smile. Christian, we all can do that. Because the Word of God is in us. We allow the Word of God to excite us. That we become the instrumental joy. You know and I know the world we live is so much broken, so much sadness, not far, in your own home, in the workplace, on the playground, on the internet. Golly, God's simple. Allow God's word to invigorate you and be the instrument of God's peace. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God. Our Savior was crucified on the potted ground. He suffered night for them, by both men with them. Amen. And a seat at the right hand of the Father, He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son who with the Father and His Son is adorned and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess to my and forgiveness of sins. We trust in the power of God's Word to change our life and to change our world. We entrust all our needs to Him that all Christians will share the message of the gospel with all its radical demands while showing respect for the beliefs of others, yet never backing down from truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, the great sower of the gift of life, may see that gift welcomed and celebrated by all his people and never trampled underfoot. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who teach God's words in pulpits and classrooms, in Bible studies and prayer groups, and in their own families may be ever more effective and faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in the number of priests, deacons, and religious brothers and sisters throughout the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the poor, the unemployed, the marginalized, the unborn, and the forgotten, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they be, especially Alan Hempelman, that they be given a place of rest and peace in God's eternal kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In response to God's call to vocation, let us pray. Creator God, life is your gift to us. 
In baptism, you invite us to share the gifts of our life in service to others. Be with us as we choose each day to show your presence in the world. Give us the courage and generosity to respond to your love, your call. We pray especially for those who serve you as priests, brothers, sisters, deacons, and lay ministers. We pray for holy matrimonies. Keep them close to you. Open the minds and heart of other men and women that they may accept the challenge build the kingdom. Father, we thank you for your word. As you, as you hear our prayers, may we always hear you ever more clearly and be faithful to your call. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join us in singing our offertory hymn, Seed, Scattered, and Sown. Seeds gathered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shed as one, the living bread of God, vine fruit of the land, wine work of the hands, one cup that is shed by all, the living the living bread of God is not the bread we break a sharing in our Lord is not the cup we bless the blood of Christ our poor seeds scattered and sown weeds gathered and First creation you receive the baby of us here in the heart of heaven. In sea within good ground, the flower and the vine, seed scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown. So may the church of God be gathered into one. Was my iniquity cleanse me from my sin. What do you think? We'll be a priest next week, okay? You take my part, I take your part. Deal? We will be a deacon. Go be a priest. Prayed, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. 
طيب Look upon the offering of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that, when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belong to your boundless glory. That you came to the aid of of mortal being with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy our mortality itself that the cause of our downfall may become the mean of our salvation through Christ our Lord through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your present forever. May our voices we pray and join with theirs in one quarter of our exultant praying as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held it worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Alan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who would unite with a son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleaded throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us. Deliver, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sin, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us safe for eternal life. The 
about Christ. It's about Christ. Give us from the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's about Christ. 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 God bless from the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's about Christ. 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 God bless from the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. About Christ, God bless from the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Bible Christ, the Bible Christ, the Bible Christ, the Bible Christ. Please join us in singing the communion hymn, One Bread, One Body. The Bible Christ, the Bible Christ, God bless from the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. One bread. One, one body, the bow of Christ, one Lord, the bow of Christ, the bow of Christ, cup of blessing which we bless, the bow of Christ, 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 the bow of Christ. The Bible 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 Christ. Servants or free. The Bible Christ. 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 God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Bible Christ. 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 God bless my Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Bible Christ. 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 One body, one Lord of all, one cup of blessing which we bless, and we the many
We seek the intercession of Saint Joseph, and so we pray. O Saint Joseph, who protects so grace? I place in you all my interest and desire. O Saint Joseph, you assist me by my power into the heaven and to incantate the divine son. Your blessing in Jesus Christ our Lord. So that heaven gate here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms, I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name, and kiss his fine head for me, and ask him return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron departing soul. Good Saint Joseph, we implore your help and your intercession as we embark upon this journey toward the future of Saint Francis and John Paris. Be our advocate and guide as we go forward in transition. And we hold your hands and trust in his goodness. Above all, now step closer to God's will and glorify him in all things. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed this gift, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effect upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a quick reminder, after Mass, all invited to come over, building two for some donuts. Actually, I had two this morning after 8.30 Mass. It was nice. You know that beautiful thing? It got glaze on top of it, and some of them have some cream inside of it, and the flavor, oh. Have some little coffee with that. Talk about great conversation. So afterward, run over there, have some donuts, okay? We tried to renew, revive this uh, new jubilation again for our community together. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, proclaim the gospel by your life. Send forth by God's blessing, now true faith confessing, the people of God from this dwelling take leave. Our prayer here has ended, oh now be extended, the fruits of our worship in all who believe. To see of Christ teaching our inner souls reaching shall blossom in action for God and for all. God's grace shall incite us, in love shall unite us to further God's kingdom and answer the call. With praise and thanksgiving to God who is living, the tasks of our everyday life we embrace. Our faith ever searing, in love ever caring, the claim as our family, all woes of each race. With grace God has fed us, one true light has led us, uniting us all in the life that we share. Then may all the living with praise and thanksgiving give honor to Christ and his name that we bear.